And good afternoon and thanks for joining us. I'm Natalie Bumpke. And I'm Corey McFerrin. Anthony has the afternoon off. We begin with the latest developments in the search for a missing Titanic sub. The U.S. Coast Guard now says the vessel imploded near the wreckage of the Titanic, killing all five people on board. And just moments ago, the president of the Explorers Club issued a statement saying the group is heartbroken over the tragic loss of the individuals on the Titan vessel, saying that the passengers were, quote, drawn to explore to try to advance science and for the betterment of mankind. Now, this sub was owned and operated by OceanGate, the company now mourning the loss of, the loss of its CEO. In a statement, the passengers were called true explorers. Anna Eliopoulos has the story. The debris is consistent with a catastrophic uh, implosion of uh, the vessel. The multinational search for a missing tourist submersible discovering a debris field near the Titanic wreckage on Thursday. The findings come on the same day the U.S. Coast Guard estimated oxygen would run out for the Titan sub and its passengers. We found uh, five different major pieces of, of debris that uh, told us that it was the... Um, remains of the Titan. Within that large debris field, uh, we found the, f the front end bell of the pressure hull. Um, that was the first indication that um, there was a catastrophic event. Coast Guard officials say the debris was discovered near a remotely operated vehicle deployed by Canada's Horizon Arctic vessel. It's one of multiple air and sea assets that have been involved in the search, including an unmanned underwater robot that arrived aboard a French research vessel. They're typically designed for research or work on underwater oil wells or underwater cables. The sub vanished on Sunday along with five passengers, including a British billionaire, French mariner, and members of a prominent Pakistani business family. One of the sub's former passengers described safety concerns aboard the vessel. Sometimes before they got problems with the battery systems by 1,600 meters. The sub's operator, OceanGate, reached the Titanic wreck for the first time in 2021. Anna Eliopoulos. Fox 32 Chicago.